Pixelier slide has support for meta conversion API. Uh, the setup is very simple. You just need to generate the token inside your account and then uh, add it here. Here. This is Pixelier site, by the way. And uh, this is where you place your Facebook Pixel ID, which is required. This will enable Pixel events, the main source of events for uh, Meta. And then here, you have to add your uh, conversion API token. And once you have both, and of course, when you have this checked, we will send a pair of events, one using the Pixel, the other one using a conversion API. Uh, this pair of events will have the same event ID and Meta will deduplicate. If they receive both events, they will process only one. Usually they process uh, the browser event, but sometimes they process the server event. Maybe it's the first one that they get. I don't know exactly. However, the idea is that you don't end up with duplicated data. You will have correct data and conversion API events will work as a backup. If the browser events are blocked, Meta will get the conversion API events and uh, process the data from there. Now, how do you get this token? I make this video because Meta made some small changes. So the old video that I have might be outdated. Uh, go inside your uh, events manager. Now, I am opening my Facebook app on my computer, so it's a desktop app. Um, you might be logged in into your account, as manager account. However, you need to be here, events manager, um, overview, and then select the pixel you want to connect. So this is the pixel ID, the one that I just show you, you need inside pixel your site. And now here settings, scroll and look for look for this thing right here so we won't use this conversion api get away we, we will use actually the direct integration because it's built in pixel your site and it works really well um, keep this uh, selected and from here generate a token you can generate the same token for multiple pixels uh, I will select only this pixel. This is my setup and generate token. Now copy the token, go back to pixel your site. I already have a token here, but just for uh, showcasing you how, how you should do it, add the token and save. This is all you need to make pixel your site stand both uh, conversion API events and pixel events. We have other things that might improve and other recommendation i have videos about how to improve conversion api tra tracking for example we send uh, user data for logged in users and for woocommerce orders however you can also configure the plugin to send such data for forms but you need to add i have a video explaining um add the form name that we should track here. We have some default names, but we don't know uh, what names your forms uses. So I have watched this video to learn how to set up this. Basically, you will instruct Pixel your site to look at a particular form type, to look for a field, and we will get the data from that field as the name, first name, last name, phone number, or email address. We can do the same from URL parameters and I have a video here and uh, this will help the plugin to take data from URL parameters sometimes is there because some plugins add such data in the URL as parameters and we also have a social login plugin it's called social connect when the user logs in using Facebook login we have access pixel your site has access to the Facebook login ID, and we can send it with conversion API events, which helps uh, matching events to a user and improves EMQ score. This is it. This is how you can configure API, conversion API for uh, Facebook with Pixel your site. 
these two options that I just show you are part of our paid plugin, but the free plugin detects uh, user logged in users and WooCommerce and easy digital downloads uh, clients. So it has a boost anyway. The paid version uh, gives you two more options, forms and URLs, and the social connect login gives you the opportunity to track uh, Facebook login IDs. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. Share this video, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.